हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस लैग्रेंजेस मेथड ऑफ अनडिटरमाइंड मल्टीप्लायर दिस मेथड इज यूजफुल फॉर फाइंडिंग एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ मोर देन वन वेरिएबल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम दैट कैन बी सॉल्व यूजिंग दिस मेथड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजिंग अ जनरल फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉमा जी subject to a constraint of the form phi of x comma y comma z is equal to k shall be solved using this lagrange's method to understand this problem consider a forest full of trees the function f represents the surface of this forest then the maximum value of f is at the peak of the tallest tree of the forest and the minimum value of f is at the peak of the smallest tree of the forest now if i ask you to find maxima minima of the function f at the particular section of the forest say denoted by this circle then the equation of a circle plays the role of the constraint in the problem which is phi of x comma y comma z is equal to k i hope guys you understood the problem now let us see the steps involved in the method in step 1 we define the lagrange's function denoted by capital letter f and is defined as small f plus lambda into phi In next step, we find the total derivative of capital F and we equate it with zero. From this, we get Lagrange's equation given by dabba f by dabba x plus lambda into dabba phi by dabba x is equal to zero. Dabba f by dabba y plus lambda into dabba phi by dabba y equal to zero. And dabba f by dabba z plus lambda into dabba phi by dabba z is equal to zero. We call these equations as Lagrange's equations. Note that these equations are obtained when we equate total derivative of capital f with zero also note that if f consists of only two variables x and y then there will be only two lagrange's equation this first and the second one in next step we solve df is equal to zero that is these three lagrange's equations and the equation of a constraint phi of x comma y comma z is equal to k to eliminate lambda from the picture and to find the values of x comma y comma z the values of x comma y comma z obtained in step 3 forms coordinates of the points these points are called as stationary points finally we put these stationary points in small f to find its extreme value i hope guys you understood these steps involved in the lagrange's method now let us see examples based on this look at this example number 1 here we are asked to find the maximum and minimum value of the function f given by 3x plus 4y on the circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 using the method of lagrange's multiplier in this example small f that is function which is to be maximize or minimize and constraint phi are clearly mentioned in the question now let us note down these things so here we have to find the stationary values of this function f of x comma y is equal to 3x plus 4y we label it as 1 with the condition phi of x comma y which is x square plus y square minus 1 we label this as 2 now we define lagrange's function capital f which is given by small f plus lambda phi let us substitute expressions for small f and phi so we get capital f is equal to 3x plus 4y plus lambda into x square plus y square minus 1 here we complete step 1 in next step we equate total derivative of f with zero so let's find out df is equal to zero equations these equations are also called as lagrange's equations so since here there are only two variables in f so we will have only two lagrange's equations first obtained by differentiating f partially with respect to x and second obtained by differentiating f partially with respect to y let us now find out this first equation dabba f by dabba x here will be derivative of 3x plus 4y with respect to x that is just only 3 plus lambda into dabba phi by dabba x will be 2x so first equation is 3 plus lambda into 2x is equal to 0 similarly from this second equation we get derivative of f with respect to y will be 4 plus lambda into derivative of x square plus y square minus 1 is 2y 
is equal to 0. We label these equations as equation number 3. Now we have to solve these Lagrange's equations along with the constraint equation to find out values of x and y. In this process, we are going to eliminate lambda from the picture. So there are two techniques with the help of which you can do so. In first technique, you can write x and y in terms of lambda. Then substitute those values of x and y in this constraint equation. So after substitution, you will see an equation with only lambda. After solving which, you will get value of lambda. Now substitute this value of lambda back in the value of x and y. After substitution, you will get values of x and y without lambda. Values of x and y so obtained will give you coordinates of the point which we call as stationary point. This is the first technique which you can use to solve Lagrange's equation and the constraint equation. In second technique, you can write y in terms of x, then substitute value of y in terms of x over here in the equation of constraint and you solve it for value of x. After finding value of x, you substitute that value into that equation of y, you will get value of y. So let us use first technique to find out these values of x and y. Here from this equation number 3, I can write x as minus 3 upon 2 lambda and y as minus 4 upon 2 lambda like this. Now we substitute these values of x and y into equation number 2. Okay. When we do so, we will have 3 square that is 9 upon 2 lambda square that is 4 lambda square plus 16 upon 4 lambda square is equal to 1 like this. Since denominator are same, you can add the numerators. So we have 9 plus 16 that is 25 upon 4 lambda square is equal to 1. Take this 4 lambda square on the other side. Then lambda square can be written as 25 upon 4 that is lambda is equal to plus or minus 5 by 2. Now we substitute these values of lambda into values of x and y. So when lambda is equal to 5 by 2, we get x is equal to minus 3 by 5 and y is equal to minus 4 by 5. Similarly, when lambda is equal to minus 5 by 2, we will get x is equal to 3 by 5 and y is equal to 4 by 5. So here we get a point with coordinates minus 3 by 5 comma minus 4 by 5 and from here we get a point with coordinates 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. These are our stationary points. Now we substitute these stationary point one by one in function f to find its maximum and minimum value. So let us substitute first point. So when we do so, we get value of f as minus 5. Similarly, for the second point, we get value of f as 5. Out of these two values, 5 is the maximum value or biggest value. So we say maximum value of f is 5 and minimum value of f is minus 5 in this way. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let me show you one more similar example. Here we are asked to find the maximum and minimum value of the function f of x comma y defined as x comma y on the ellipse x square by 8 plus y square by 2 is equal to 1 using the method of Lagrange's multiplier. Let us first note down the small f and phi in our answer. So here we have to find the stationary values of f of x comma y is equal to x y with the condition x square by 8 plus y square by 2 is equal to 1. You can take that one on the other side to get minus 1 here. Label them as 1 and 2. Now we define Lagrange's function capital F which is small f plus lambda phi. Substitute expressions for f and phi over here. So this is your Lagrange's function capital F. Now we equate total derivative of f with 0 to get Lagrange's equations. Since there are two variables in f, we will have two Lagrange's equation. First, which will be obtained by differentiating f with respect to x and second, obtained by differentiating this f with respect to y partially. 
So these are those two Lagrange's equation. Let us find out dabba f by dabba x. Here dabba f by dabba x is y and dabba phi by dabba x is 2x by 8 that is x by 4 is equal to 0. Similarly, from this second equation, we get x plus lambda y is equal to 0. Label these equations as equation number 3. Now, I am going to use that second technique which I explained you earlier. Now, here I am going to show you the demonstration of second technique to solve this Lagrange's equations along with the constraint equation. In this second technique, we are going to write y in terms of x. Then we will substitute that value of y over here in the equation of a constraint. Let me show you how you can do it. Look at this second equation. Here I can write lambda as minus x upon y. Now I will substitute this value of lambda into the first equation. So we get y minus x square upon 4y is equal to 0. After multiplying this equation throughout by 4y, we get y square is equal to x square by 4. Note that here we have represented y in terms of x. Since we need y square value in equation of a constraint, I stopped here, I am not finding value of y. So let us substitute y square value in the equation of a constraint. The constraint equation becomes x square by 8 plus x square by 8 is equal to 1. That is 2x square by 8 is equal to 1. That is x square by 4 is equal to 1. That is x square is equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 2. When we substitute these values of x over here, we get y square is equal to 4 upon 4 that is 1. Therefore, y is equal to plus or minus 1. From these two values of x and two values of y, we will form all possible points whose coordinates are x comma y. So, in all, we will get four points whose coordinates are 2 comma 1, 2 comma minus 1, minus 2 comma 1 and minus 2 comma minus 1. Now, after this, one by one, we substitute these stationary points in F to find its maxima or minima. So, when we put x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, we get f is equal to 2. Similarly, for 2 comma minus 1, f takes value minus 2. For minus 2 comma 1, f takes value minus 2 again. And for minus 2 comma minus 1, f takes value 2. Out of these four values, 2 is the biggest value and minus 2 is the smallest value. So, we can write f max is 2 and f minimum is minus 2. I hope guys you understood this example as well. Please write me in comment box whether you understood these examples or not. Please also comment how much you like this video. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.